Hey, yo, it's another video, so let's go. All right. Um, I just want, I seen it. <laughs> so I just, uh, something, uh, I always, uh, I, I love it. one of his, like his first album, thir uh, the 36 Chambers album, like he had the first album, the first solo album. Hold up, mother pause real quick, hold on. All right, it's the picture of the, uh, if you don't know, it's the picture of the ODB, all right? Uh, baby Osiris, <laughs> uh, baby Jesus. What, what, what we want to? He, he called himself many names, so he was. He, he knew a lot. He had. He just played the role of the fool. But the the fool is the strongest. The strongest card in the tarot. So remember that the strongest card. So as you can see, you have the bees. You know what I'm saying? They always, they always had a black and yellow, which is actually alchemy. Uh, black and gold is actually alchemy. So black and gold uh, deals with... So all those bees, if it's one one by itself, it's not as powerful. You put, you put all those bees together, and you have a, you have a formation of uh, some... Uh, the honeycomb, it looks like DNA, different forms of uh, DNA. So... Uh, you see right here the honeycomb right here, but they, they always call themselves uh, Wu Tang Killer Bees on the swarm. So, but what? You know, think about this. Now I'll be like, I'll be noticing these groups when they break up. Now the Wu Tang, almost every member of Wu Tang had their solo album, had a solo album, and every when they all had a solo album, that's when the group ends up breaking up over time. So. When they end up breaking up, they means have less power. So you see one B by itself. That's not that one B. I could just swat that one B. But you, that one B gonna try to sting you. But if it's more than one, it's gonna be a, a, a barrage of bees coming at you. So when, so it's so funny to me. I remember seeing a video from Steve Rick, Rifkin, from Steve Rifkin, talking about how he was able to get every. Um, the, on, on Loud Records, the owner, uh, the owner of Loud Records, he was able to get every member of uh, Wu Tang uh, that that was uh, they was he was able to have them have uh, uh, get solo projects or solo deals for their solo albums. Well, you think about it when they when they all were able to break them up and when they, everybody doing their own thing, it's like Voltron is not formed or or uh, uh, it's like uh, if you watch uh, VR Troopers. Those three together, those three, um, they they may if they break those apart. You only have two. You don't get the full finished product, the the full manifestation of everything. Or like with the Power Rangers, they bring those those five or six together. When they bring those together, those five or six together, then you have a more powerful entity. So when the Wu Tang was together, all together. Remember Wu, uh, when ODB was in jail? ODB was in jail at one point. So when he was in jail. You know they had the, they came out with the the W actually the W, uh, you know they shot him out in the gravel pit video. You see his hands inside the uh, the jail cell, his hands going going out to, outside the jail like he's like his dance like he was dancing or uh, bobbing to the music. So I just wanted to venerate this, you know, uh, bring attention to this uh, this mural, and I'm, I've never seen a, 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 a ODB mural really anywhere. Uh, so I just wanted to go ahead and uh, pay my respects, say what up, you know what I'm saying, to the ODB. It's the ODB, kid. You know what's so funny to me? I was thinking about, I was, like, maybe like about an hour or two ago, I was thinking about ODB. Not even no bullshitting, keeping it real. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I was, I'm being dead ass. Hold on real quick. So, so funny. Man, all these cars pass. I'm trying to get it to where nobody really passes, and the video can just just play. So I'm not. I'm in pausing. Hold on. So, uh, yeah. So when when Steve Rifkin was able to break, uh, ha get them, have them have solo deals, that was intentional on purpose. Cause you know when you have a when you have a group together and you break them up, their their, uh, their power di is diminished. So one person's doing this and one person is doing that. So, but yeah, back to what I was saying, I was thinking about ODB earlier today 
And uh, he said, I was like, it was so funny that I ended up walking past. That's how things happen. And it's just to bring you towards something in order for you to get something accomplished. Um, and I was like, man, that's, that's like old DP when I was walking up. I said, let me go ahead and do this, man. Ah, uh, another scam, likely call. I'm cool. I remember, I, and it's so funny, I was saying this exact thing from the end of the, the, the end of the very end of the album. He said, if you're from Brooklyn, I want you to hear when I hear you scream. He said, he said, Ugh. He said, I said, if you from Brooklyn, I want to hear you scream. And they screamed a little bit louder. He said, hold up. He said, niggas don't scream like that. Niggas don't do shit like that. If you from, if you from Brooklyn, I want to hear you scream. And they just went crazy. But that was the thing. He, he, I say, I just got another sign. But uh, he, he, that's the thing. To be the fool or to be the drunken master, you be considered like, oh, he's off his rock or he's just too drunk to know what he's talking about. You don't know. He could be faking that, that whole lean and you know that lean and and I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna go sit in this corner, right? No, he could just be like, man, this is to show you to keep away from me or something like. Oh, he's just an old drunk fool. No, he knew exactly what he was saying. There's a video on there, uh, on YouTube, while he was where he was standing sitting next to met the man. He was dropping some shit, some information, and met the man was looking like, why are you doing this on this 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 interview? Like the face he was making, like you know we gotta keep quiet, like. ODB, like he was tired of being quiet, man. He was he was trying to get some a, a message across, and he just got tired of being here. So like he got like he was he figured out a way to get up out of here. So I know his ways. Uh, people people been like will mess with you and try to get you about. Most of these artists know when they when they, when the industry is gonna get rid of them. They know. So he said, in order for me to do what I want to do, hold on real quick. In order for me to do what I want to do, I'm gonna do it how I'm gonna do it. So, so I want to say much respect, peace to uh, ODB, man, Russell, ODB, Jones, you know what I'm saying? So, I, man, 707, Ashe, that's Savek, uh, or Nodens, Ashe, Ashe. All right. Oh, that, so I'm just saying, like, uh, so, yeah, let, let it, uh, I just wanted to shoot this and, uh, put this out in the ethers. So when it goes out there, hey, as you know, like you put up, you put like some some great work out there. And you and you wasn't just trying to just be an entertainer. You were trying to give information and your and your message and your music. All right. Um, kill God. God don't love highly melanated people. I'm not talking about the gods in the earth. No, I'm not talking about like that. I mean, like, God as in the form of people worshiping something. Because you're supposed to venerate yourself through your daily life, but God wants you to give tithes or, or whatever, worship worship something outside yourself when that worship is supposed to go, go inside. So it's to 10% is supposed to go to yourself, and the rest is supposed to go to your work. But uh, rise in power. Uh, Russell O.D.B. Jones, I say, kill God daily. God don't love highly melanated people, so-called black people. I can, I can, I'm gonna tell you one example before I get up out of here. Why would the Pope sanction, uh, sanction slavery? Okay then, okay then. Keep, I'm gonna just, keep, I'm just leave it right there. Kill God daily. God don't love highly melanated people, so-called black people. Hey, let's keep it going. Niggas. Ah. Ah. Remember when you was a kid, you used to do that when you was a kid? 